I believe that we do dangerous work. The dangerous work of writing. When I look around, I see myself in the repressed tears of every social butterfly that begs the question, who am I? Judges, time, 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 time. My name is Matthew Plu DeMarco. I'm a sophomore in creative writing. I don't know what I want to say, but I have an intuitive desire to talk to people. Um, to share something, you know, whether it's about, say, penguins fucking or what I want, you know, to be done with my body after I die. I want, I want things to be known. Hi, my name is Kelly. I'm an advertising major and I'm a senior. Why do I write? I just have to. I, I just have to. My name is Jeremiah Childers. I am a junior in creative writing. To try and strike that emotional chord and to try and make someone feel something that they forgot they could. Um, I'm Amy. I am a senior and I'm a theater major. I write because it's the only way I can make sense of things that don't make sense to me. My name is James Castillo and I'm a junior in creative writing. I write because I have to. And by that I mean it's not like someone's got a, you know, a knife at my back saying write. It's because someone or something or some essence or force or entity or whatever has moved on to me in a certain way that makes me say this needs to be captured in some transient form or non-transient form. So I think poetry is a good way to do that. I'm Jillian Alberico. I'm a creative writing major and I'm a senior. I write because I have to write, because I'll go crazy if I don't get it out of me. Families will go for periods of time, generations and generations, until um, a writer is almost necessary to record some of what it's, has gone on in that family and some of what is going on in that family. So I, um, I, I can't say lightning struck. Um, I don't think I know exactly what it means to be a writer. I just know that I write. You know, slam for me is it's like a it's like a family. It's a nation of poets that that uh, that brought back the idea that poetry is of the people and by the people. <laughs> it took a long time for me to acknowledge the fact that I was uh, going to call myself a poet. I have a friend who reads my poetry, and he says, like, I don't get this. And I was like, well, why don't you get it? And he says, I don't know, I don't get poetry. And I said, well, are you getting anything out of it? You know, you may not get it, but are you getting something out of it? And he said, yeah, I, I get something out of it. And I think you read poetry to get something out of it because you're going to get something. A poem's job is to make a person feel something that, to feel a specific emotion, to strike in a, spe a specific emotional chord that they forgot they could feel, that they, that they haven't felt in years. Even when I use the, the term, or we use the term, teaching poetry, it's really not a, exactly teaching poetry. Hopefully you're working with a class or a group of students, individuals, whatever, to uh, acquire a better understanding of how poetry generally works. What is the message? What is the idea? What is the picture? What is the understanding that, you, that people are trying to portray in their poetry? And how do they most vividly get, get that across to their, uh, their readers? The atmosphere, the atmosphere when you're asking people to do what I believe is dangerous work has to have a sense of safety. We had to start writing about the things that we didn't want to write about because this was the most supportive environment that we would ever stumble across and that we had to take advantage of it. People wrote about things that they didn't want to 
and some really good stuff came out of that class from everybody. I watched everyone improve. I think I've been writing more lately and um, than I ever have, and I'm in the best place I've ever been, and my writing's like the darkest it's ever been, and it's really funny because I'm not in a dark you know, place. Just There are different corners of a person, and sometimes I like to just take little corners and put them on paper, and that's better than leaving them inside me. I serve, I try to think in terms of serving poetry and not forcing something on poetry. I'm still trying to understand it. I won't live long enough to understand it. When you read something of mine, you are seeing me exposed to all the world. No one is dancing to my beat because the beat is in my heart and it proclaims so need to be on the edge of our village. When you read poetry, I feel like you become part of the conversation. And listening here until you want to give up all of your I want there to be a million voices out there on the rooftop, like on Movie Network, all shouting, I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore.